Push down for some kick. Kentucky Ew Chicken. Because the Ew is so good. Maybe the K stands for killer. Killer Ew Chicken. What's up you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up Scotty. I'm Scotty. The one thing I'm seeing a lot now in the comments is people saying, I have no space. I have no room for my city. I haven't even built it yet. I don't know where to put it. Well, look at this. This is an alternative from symbol block. I haven't done a symbol block in a while. Remember symbol block? Yeah, check it out over here. They have a couple of modulars and I don't even know if these are new or old. And it's kind of like another brand called Eights San He. Where are these companies coming up with these names, man? Can you just name it something cool? Eights San He, Sembo, Panlos. It makes you not want to buy the bricks. But anyway, Eights San He is actually pretty popular on the store as well. And you know, a lot of people have been buying that for me. So this is kind of similar in a way. And it's also another alternative from Oxford Block. You know, I know you guys love me doing Oxford Blocks, right? But no one can seem to afford them. And these are pretty okay in my opinion. They're not perfect. They're small scale though, and they fit easily. And I'm sure you can like redo it yourself. So, you know, you can buy a set, replace them with your Lego bricks or different colors and make it your own, right? Yeah, it's small enough to do it. I think that's a good start for one of these things. So here we go, check it out. Dude, there's really like no name for this set. This is Semo Blocks Mini World Great Dream 6010171819202. Pieces range from 282 to 320. We're gonna start in order of the manual, so here we go. The first one is 7-Eleven. Ah, ah, it looks kind of cheap, man. Like if Oxford Block did this, it would look a little bit more cleaner, I think, or more grand. I don't know what the word is. You know what it is? I think it's actually the base plate color. It's that black. All four of these base plates are black, and I think it kind of works for some, and it didn't really work for the 7-Eleven. Why couldn't they have this, made this one white? Probably would have stood out a little bit more. I think the black kind of throws it off a little bit. Ah. Uh, <laughs> So first thing is that they did get the logo colors right here, like the, the, the theme of it. It's just a base plate. I wish it was a brighter color and you know, it kind of throws me off seeing the black there. It makes it look too dark, but it's still pretty cool. It's not too bad. You know, you gotta remember these things are cheap and they're small and they're just an alternative brand for you guys. So on the front right away, you got the 7-Eleven logo on the floor. That is cool. It's not tile. Dang it. Tile it, fools. Tile it. You know, I'm a fan of pop out 3D looking signs and you know, even though that's just like simple tiles, it's still says 7-Eleven, pretty okay. And you got these windows here along the front. They're all curved. I kind of did a sloppy job on the stickers there. One thing I encourage you guys to do is don't put the stickers on yet. Just try to put everything on without the stickers because sometimes without the stickers, this set actually looks pretty good. Hold on to the stickers, make copies of them, scan them, whatever. But you guys can see what the sticker looks like here. The one here says, bang, time, July 24th to August 8th, Doang activity came. I have no idea what that means, but something's gonna bang out on that. Yeah, okay, that's a weird sticker. And the other side here, we got summer discounts, new product ice cream. It's okay, it's kind of random. Yeah, all over the place, the little ice cream logos there. It's so cool that they have a fridge door. They didn't even bother to put a front door. I guess you can go in there and steal your items and run minifigures, run. And you got a refrigerator here. The door does open, guys, look at that. Yeah, opens and closes. Inside you got all these, those are prints, man. Pepsi is actually spelt correct, but they didn't use the rest of Coca-Cola. It's missing the cola there. Spitter. But I like how they put the little lemon on top there, so at least you know it's Sprite, or Spitter in this case. And then you got the sticker on the fridge that says Beer Prom, 20% off. One thing I didn't know was that Semo Block actually had to film over their stickers. They had to peel those off so you can get the stickers nicely on there. I just thought it was like a really terrible way they made stickers, but now they look better because I peeled off that little film. But the quality of the stickers kind of suck at the same time because once they're on, they're stuck on, man. You can't get these things off. And the other thing is sometimes it actually peels part of the sticker off. So I'm missing a little bit here on the prom. I'm not even sure if it's supposed to say something else on there. It can't be beer, maybe it's beer promenade. It just says beer prom there. I thought it said beer porn at first. Yeah. Get some beer porn, yo. And speaking of that sticker, you got the main one here, the 7-Eleven, and look at the open. They cut O there. It was part of the sticker. I couldn't get it off. And that is one thing I didn't like about the stickers. And you can't repeal them off and on. Once it's on, man, you gotta just go all out and just go with it. They did the printings on the cans. Why couldn't they have printed the rest of this thing out? I do like the size of the banner, though. This is actually pretty cool. It's nice and big, yeah? So I rotate it here. One thing cool, so you can take off the rooftop, comes off, and look. Yeah, there's no second floor, but at least you can kind of get your hands there on the first floor. It's not like you couldn't from the back. 
But let's look inside this thing. All right, so they did fill it up, which is really cool. Look at the shelf, you got some milk there, and those are stickers, by the way. And I'm not quite sure, you have to use your imagination to think about what the other containers are. But it's nice that they fill up the containers there. Look at the potato chips, those look like Pringles, but they just say potato chips. And you have this orange juice. I kind of like the juice, I haven't seen a juice made like that. It's very simple to make. You know, it looks more like Clorox, but okay. That'll be orange juice. Then you have a croissant that's kind of hanging out there. They have a fruit basket there. Got a couple carrots, apples, bananas. And you have this little area here the minifigure can walk in. There's enough space for them there. It's a little bit tight on the potato chip side. You got the cashier there with the stickers. $24.70. What are you buying there? And then they have a little drink. I guess that's a drink on there. I'm not quite sure what that is there. And they have a little telephone attached to the back. And a blender. I'm not sure. Or, you know, a container with some more goodies inside. That can be whatever you want it to be. And you can see they have a little tiny spotlight. So it's a cool addition. And a little camera there on the top right corner. That's a good idea for the security cam. That's it for the 7-Eleven. Here is the rooftop. The rooftop is very, very simple, but at least they have something on top. They have a couple seats there. You got some yellow umbrellas up there. The green fence along the top here, I'm not quite sure if I like that color or if that should be there. And it kind of offsets the ones on the side a little bit. And you got a little bit of vine thing going on with a little flower there at the back. And that's it. 7-Eleven, what do you think? The good thing is, if you don't like this, you don't have to buy this one. You can buy them one at a time. Personally, I just didn't quite like the black base plate. I think that's just what's throwing me off. I think I might just replace that with white on the bottom and the top, and maybe it'll look more colorful. But you know, I'm not a mocker. I'm just gonna leave it as is. So all four sets comes with three minifigures each. So here are the minifigures for the 7-Eleven. And look at the employee. He has the 7-Eleven shirt on, and it is printed on both sides. And he's looking jolly with his orange hat on. And that is Flowery Dave, Flowery Dave. Looking good. Before you start cleaning my office, you're gonna be cleaning up the 7-Eleven. Get to work. Next up, you got this lady She's in pink, and she has very funky yellow hair. She has a little necklace on there, you can barely see it. She got some freckles, a nice little smile, and that is Jadrian. There you go, Jadrian. You can go into 7-Eleven and buy some Clorox, or I mean orange juice. Yeah, don't drink too much now. Finally, you got this little boy, and that is funny, he has a printed lollipop in his pocket. Have I seen that before? I don't even remember. And he has freckles on his face too. Looks more like tears from his eyes. Poor boy. And his lips look kind of smudged. Oh well. Clumsy Thunder, there you are. Go in the 7-Eleven and buy those candies. So there you go, that's the 7-Eleven for you. It's not that bad, really. Yeah, it's okay. It's just, you know, the color, that black color. All right, let's move on to the next set. Kentucky Ew Chicken is here. This one's not that bad either. They keep using black for everything. Again, the printing, they have KEC printed on the bottom, no tiles, but they do have patterns that are different for all the sets. If you look at this window, there's no sticker there and that's because I screwed up, okay? I put the sticker upside down. I took a photo of it, here's what it looked like, upside down before I had to peel it off and it could not peel off. So that's why these stickers kind of suck. You can't reuse them again. Once they're on, they're on. So I just scraped as much as I could off there, made the window look very, very scratchy. In fact, all the windows kind of look scratched up. You know, a lot of people ask me, are they, how's the quality of the plastic pieces? There you go, it's super scratchy, man. Can you live with that? You can't, maybe you can replace it with your own. I don't know, but there you go. No sticker on that side. And you got this other sticker here on this side that says fried chicken bucket. So it should be called FCB, not KEC. Door opens fine, look at the door. Yeah, front door there. And then you got Colonel Sanda. We'll call him Colonel Sanda for copyright. And he has a KEC next to him. You got another sticker here on the side that says open 24 hours, which looks a lot like the McDonald's sign. What are they doing? Anyway, I like how the windows protrude on all sides. It kind of gives it a different look. I do like the red. It's very nice, yeah? It doesn't look too bad. It's pretty cool. I do like that they put a little bit of flowers there on the front just to make it a little bit different from the other guys. And it is modular. The second floor can come off. We'll push that right there and look on the inside here. Again, you put your hands like that. You go play with your figures. There is a lot of space because there's not much going on on the inside. There's two tables against the windows and the chairs, and that's it. There's no table in the middle. It's just enough room for your mini figures to line up to the counter there and look along the counter. They have more stickers there that says sales and look. Those are egg tarts. Those are amazing, man. Those look more like Portuguese egg tarts. They're like, are so good. They have some fried chicken along there. And look at the counter. They have a drink machine, cash register machine there, and have a sticker. It's got a little bit of detail. You can actually see the food items on there. Empty drawers, there's nothing inside. You got chocolate ice cream there. You got a hot dog. Why you have a hot dog in a chicken place? And you got a fried chicken there. And that's it, that's the first floor. We go to the second floor. Funny enough, it is also modular. 
The rooftop can come up there, but there's no staircase to go up. So how are the minifigures going to go up to this floor? Use your imagination. On the second floor, there's not too much going on. There's just a couple of chairs and tables, and that's it, man, and a piece of chicken. There's a lot of space in there, but there's nothing really going on. Could they have put more in there? Probably, but like I said, these are more affordable sets, and they're smaller, and they're just more for the outlook on the front, whether or not you like this look or not. And finally, you got the rooftop here, and you know I love 3D printed signs. That is KEC, not KFC. And uh, we'll put this back on here. And of course, it comes with three minifigures. Let's check them out. And you got Colonel Sandow here, but we'll call him Zaslowski. Reznov, there you are, man, because you're the colonel. With the chicken, nice apron on both sides, and the white beard looks just kind of like smeared on there. It looks funny, man, it looks like a clown. And he's got this crazy flat top hairstyle on there. So there you are, go make that chicken, yo. You got the girl here that works behind the counter. Again, she has the printing on her outfit, the KEC logo on there on both sides. And I like the hat, it's like the hair built in there, the little ponytail hanging out the back. That is pretty cool. And that is Nikita Wells. I hope you are well. Now go make that hot dog in this chicken joint. Finally, you got this guy who looks a little bit too clean to go in the shop to buy food. He should be at like a five-star restaurant, something like the Parisian restaurant, which I need to review for you guys too. But he's walking in and he's gonna order some ice cream in this chicken joint. And that is Dude Jude 20. There you go, walking in. So there's the KEC restaurant for you guys. All right, let's move on to the next one. Here we go. Ah, the coffee shop. Now this looks more like it. This looks like a coffee joint. And the black actually kind of goes together with this green. I think this one actually kind of matches. And I think this one is probably one of my favorite ones for the set. Yeah, it actually kind of looks like Starbucks. <laughs> Copyright strike. They spelled coffee correct. They actually got the logo of the girl in there. Shame on you. Let's look at the front here and work our way up, yeah? The pattern on the street itself is kind of strange. It's just a bunch of flat tiles. It looks kind of weird. I think that could have been more patterned up, but you know what? If it was me designing, I'd probably make it like that too. I wouldn't know what I'd be doing. What I like about it, it's, it's very open-like. So you got the welcome sign sticker here. It's open from nine to 11. And then you got this front door here with the sticker of the cup there and the door opens up just fine. And you got this open takeaway area, which is actually pretty cool. It separates itself different from the rest of the other guys. Then you got a big window here on the side that looks in and the top does come off a part of it. It's kind of like a half modular. If we take this half off, we can take that and put it here. We can look on the inside there, even though it's pretty open in the first place. The colors are actually pretty okay, and that's probably because it's really minimal with the color. They're not like screaming at you. There are no seats here, because they're gonna probably be on the second floor. You got a staircase there that does go up. And you got two coffee machines here going on. You got one in the corner there, and another one that's probably grinding up the beans there for your espresso. And you got another croissant, some mugs and cups. You got stickers up there. They're really simple. They just say menu and you can actually see the prices of the drinks and what's for sale, muffin and coffee. Yeah, that's it, man. That's it for the bottom floor. And then let's work our way up to the second floor. This is actually pretty cool. I like the coffee sign there. That, you know, that's, I'll leave that decision up to you. Is that like too much of a coffee? Still looks kind of cool. So you come up here and this is where the staircase actually comes into right there. You know, I can put it back on here. Let's put it back on so you guys get a better idea. That's where you come with the staircase here. You come inside and on the inside, you have a couple of tables and chairs. Very, very simple setup. It's very tight because it's only like a half of this upper floor. You have two windows that do open up here. The rooftop can come off like so. You know, it's cool that it does that. You know, it's just a very small set. And finally, next to that, you got this part here, which is a little vine that's growing along the top. I think that's actually pretty cool because you see it coming out to the sides here and they held it down with this piece. It's just a nice little touch. Again, minimal, but it looks really good to me. Yeah, you know what? I think this one is my favorite one for the set. And of course, comes with the minifigures. Let's check them out. So you got the coffee employee here and you do have the logo printed on his apron. He looks just fine. He has a smat smirk on there. Maybe he's doing something to your drink on the inside. Printing looks fine on both sides and his hair looks pretty okay. He's not too bad. So that is Nathan Speed. There you are working in Starbucks. I know you just recently bought our KEC set. Thank you so much. But now you have to get the coffee one since you are the coffee man. There you are. And you got this lady, she looks kind of mean. Maybe she needs some caffeine. Got a nice little pink jacket on and she looks just fine. And that is Hazel. There you are again. Thank you for being a part of this community. Enjoy your coffee. And you got this guy who's really happy to go have some coffee. Nice hair, nice glasses, a nice outfit. And that is Daniel Mac, enjoying some coffee, wondering what happened to Deer. He will be back, so there you go. All right, you guys, that's the coffee shop. One more to go. You ready for this? You ready? Here we go. Ah, does this look familiar to you guys? 
If you haven't seen the Apple Store from Semble Block, they have a much bigger version that is kind of out of this world. Watch the review here with my friend Locke. Lock, where you at, man? Anyway, check it out. This is a smaller version of it here. This one doesn't really look like an Apple Store. It looks more like an, an airport control tower. This one, the black and white does work for me. I like it. I'm not quite sure if I like the tiles like this on the floor. Again, it is like very simple pattern. I would do something like that just to make it easy. You know, maybe they could have done a little bit more to here, or maybe you can modify it yourself how you like it. Look at the windows on this thing. Got some transparent windows there and some blue ones too, and it looks nice. I'm not quite sure if I like the sticker here along the middle. That's kind of strange looking. It looks very cheap to me. I do like the flowers, and I like that it's clear on all three sides, yeah? Pretty cool. I just realized I'm so into the glass that I forgot there's no door. Where's the door? Oh man. Go in there and steal some phones. No, but seriously, you could probably take this piece out, put a door right in there. I'm sure one would fit, yeah? Should. I don't see why not. And again, you can take off the second floor, like, like so. Yeah, look at that. Enough room again to put your hands in there. Go inside. Pretty neat. It's just like the other Apple set. You have a couple iPhones there. Those are all stickers. One that's in a case. I guess that's got to be the new iPhone 10,000. And you got a white one there with a laptop next to that. And you got the cash register there. And those are all stickers, by the way. For the life of me, couldn't find this little Apple sticker that goes on the black one here on the counter. It's on the sheet, man. It's so hard to see that sticker. Anyway, it's there. Make sure you carefully look at the stickers. And as usual, there's no way to get up to the second floor. Put this one back on. And the top can come off here, yeah? Empty, there we go. Yeah, there's a second floor. The windows, again, scratchy looking, but there's a sticker here with the face stuck into the Apple logo. Of course, they can't copy the original one. Copyright strike. Number two, but looks okay. Again, don't put the stickers on. See if you like it with or without stickers. Second floor is very simple indeed. I have no idea what this container is. Is that supposed to be like a speaker? I'm not sure. You got another phone, another laptop, and one table. And that's all there is, that's it. Very simple stuff, yeah? And of course, on the top here, you have the Apple logo. The logo is good, I wasn't missing a piece like I was in the other one before, and I like the little piece on top here. Airport tower is all I can see when I see this thing, man. But of course, it comes with three minifigures. Let's check them out. So you got the Apple girl, or we can call it App Girl, yeah? Copyright, yeah? She's working in the stores and her name tag there along her neck and she looks just fine. And that is Chabo Biggles. Yeah, there you are this time, female, right? I'm sorry if I don't know if you guys are male or female, but do let me know if I get it wrong so I can correct it next time. But there you are, Chabo Pickles. You got this guy who kind of is the Steve Jabs. We'll call him Steve Jabs because, you know, copyright strike again. He looks simple with the sweater on. He looks just like him. Look at his glasses and his gray beard. And that is Oliver Shish. I'm sorry the sets are so expensive, man. But at least I can show you this set and I hope you enjoy this video. So there you are. Make sure those iPhones are working. Finally got this kid that's walking in to buy all the sets because you know, he has to have the latest stuff, man. I like his headphones. That's really cool. And that is Pascal Scheiser. Did I say your name right? Pascal, glad you're enjoying my small but still great channel. Yes, indeed. There you are. Now go buy out all those iPhones. All right, you guys, it's time for dimensions. Break out your 32 by 32 base plate. Oh look, there goes a the flower. That doesn't matter. Anyway, just so you know, to get an idea if this is gonna fit in your city or not, all of these are on their own kind of base plate there. They're all the same size. And if I pull this out, we'll pull that right there to give you guys an idea. It is exactly 16 studs by width and it's 20 studs by length. And now it's time for the height. So break out your one by four bricks. Here's mine, get yours, and we can compare it together. So the 7-Eleven is 12 bricks in height. Well, actually, if you include the umbrella back there, I think it's one more, it should be about 13. Oh, it's barely 13 bricks. All right, let's move on to Kentucky Ew Chicken. Look at that, wee, 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 wee. just barely touching it. And that right there is 17 bricks in height. Now let's move on to the coffee. For the coffee, we're looking at just about 15 bricks in height. For the app store, we can't call it Apple, right? It's around 21 bricks in height. It's almost 22, like 22 would be too high, but it's touching that little tip of the hip. And if you want to do the roof just beside it, it is 13, 13 bricks in height. So what do you guys think, huh? Yeah, no? Let's keep moving on. So there's the Apple store. Let's pull out all the sets once again. We got the Apple, there's Tech. Here's the Starbucks, Starbucks. We'll call it Starbucks. There's the Starbucks. 
the 7-Eleven. There you guys go. What do you guys think, yeah? Small little guys, cool little sets, affordable, different. I'll work on the other four that are arriving slowly into the office and build them and review them for you guys. So there you guys go. And you know, for size comparison, here's, here's Emmett's house from Lego. We're gonna insult the brand a little bit more and sandwich the Lego shop right in between them. It doesn't really fit with the architecture. Here's the Guggenheim architecture, which I'll review next. You get the idea. It could kind of work in the city. Could it work in the city? You guys like these little sets? You know, they might work pretty well with the Oxford block. And again, I will do comparisons for you guys. I'm gonna clear all the sets out and put them on tables and separate everything. I think that'll be time to do a live feed pretty soon to do that. So I can ask you guys what you want me to put together and we can look in detail, yeah? Could be like a five hour live stream, man. That could make or break this channel. So thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back with even more. So yeah, and don't forget, these are available on BreakMeUpScotty.com. Our new staff is here, who's working over there. He's gonna input these products for you guys. So I'll make sure it's on the store. Yeah, all right. Until next time, you guys, break me out. Would you guys like some spitter today? If you ever get a chance to try the egg tart, you gotta come out and try them. All your cities belong to us. Crazy. Every chicken. Crazy with a K, that's right. Pretty good, yeah? Can't eat it, man. Ah, 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 ah. Finally, you cannot escape me. I have found you, and now I will destroy your friend. Lay off me. What you did to my truck was unspeakable. Do you really think your truck has any power over me? And cut! Alright you guys, it's break time. We've been filming for way too long. Take a break. Dear Scotty, catering is right behind you. Go get some food and we'll come back and shoot the scene. Oh, finally. I needed that break. Oh yeah, I'm getting tired in your hands, man. Let's go get some food. Food's right over there, man. Check it out. It's right there. Ah, oh, dear, I'm freaking hungry, man. What are you gonna have? Eh, I'm not so hungry. Coffee sure sounds good. Mmm, <laughs> coffee sounds good to me too. How good you, dear? Well, I'm going for some chicken. I'm hungry. I want some fried chicken. Oh, nice. Big Scotty put a 7-Eleven here. And it's not copyright either. Mmm, let's see what snacks they've got inside. Nah. Uh, Potato chips, you know, man, you start one of those, you eat the entire bag. That's not good for me. Moldy croissant, no thank you. Yeah, actually, do you guys have misubis here? I I'm a big fan of misubis, man. What do you think, you're in Hawaii? We have no misubis here. Ah, uh -huh. all right, fine. You guys have any steam cards? Spring sales coming up, man. Oh, we sold out of those long time ago. Oh man, that sucks. All right, never mind. Thanks a lot. What the heck is kick? This ain't KFC, Big Scotty. What are you doing? Ah, ah, there we go. That's much better. Now it's KFC. Excuse me, sir. What did you do to my sign? If anything, I helped you. It should be KFC. Where the hell did you get E from? Well, we're not KFC. I'm Colonel Sander. Colonel Sanders is my brother from another mother. <laughs> I hope you have real chicken in here. As a matter of fact, we don't. This. It's a vegetarian version. It's Kentucky environmental chicken. Lady, just give me an ice cream then. Let's, I'll just eat that. Sure thing. One chocolate gelato coming up. Gelato? This chicken tastes amazing. Ah, all right. I gotta think of a story for Big Scotty for the adventures of deer. Hmm, I think it should be chicken related. What the heck was that? There, yeah, fix a chicken sign. The F now. Who the heck wants an environmental chicken and a gelato? Hey, I like an ice latte, please. It's so freaking hot. to me in all these lights. What ice latte coming up? Hey, big boy, what you want? I want the blackest of coffees. I mean, the Americano. All right, so that'll be one ice latte and one Americano. That'll be 300. 300? Man, what kind of a country do we live in? <gasps> oh, look. It's an app store. I need a new phone. Mm, I wonder if they got anything good. Well, you guys are over here already. You find anything? No, I didn't find anything good, man. I only found this thing. Tastes pretty good, though. I think it's ice cream. Are you serious? 
Ah, never mind. Where's dear? Oh, Mr. Jam, I love you so much. You don't know how much this means to me. I can't believe you're actually here. Can I get your autograph? For you, dear? Anything. In fact, I'll give you the iPhone 10,000 for free. I'm a big fan of yours. Oh, goody. Thank you so much. Huh, well. That Americana was amazing. Oh, I didn't find Diddy Squat. Dear, where'd you get that? I'm special. Steve Jobs gave it to me. It's the iPhone 10,000. Steve Jobs even hooked it up for me. Check it out. I think someone's calling me. Oh, man, that thing is so loud. Hello? Dear, it's Big Scotty, man. Time's up. We gotta go film the scene. Oh, yeah. Yes. Guys, it's time to go back to work now. All right. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. It's time to get back to shooting. We'll catch you guys later, all right? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll bring you more. Yeah, dear? That's right, Scotty. More adventures. Let's go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.